it's okay now. She'll be here soon. Hang in there. Any minute now, she'll be home. You'll see. She'll walk through the door on those legs of hers with that smiling, bubbly smile. Hey, Sparky, wake up. Read me that story again, Chief. I've read it to you five times today already. This will be the last time. I promise. All right. The Sparky Book. This is how Sparky likes to while away a rainy afternoon. And this is Sparky Boo on a cold winter's evening. It's okay, Spark. Sparky came from the barrens of St. Mary's Bay. And on the day of his chilly baptism, Sparky became forever devoted to Bridget. My forever shadow follows everywhere with me. Here you go, Sparky. Have a bath. Bridget, help! I can't swim! It's okay, boy. You can do it. Swim! The sound of her voice, her warm arms, swim. kept him safe. That's it. Keep going. As long as Sparky and Bridget were together, Good boy. When Bridget needed Sparky, she called him. And Sparky came. The other people that Sparky lives with Need a heart to live, don't you, Dad? Are Bridget's brother. That's what vital means. Bridget's mother. To understand how blood flows to a normal, healthy heart. And Bridget's father. You think of a house. A house? Yes, a house with, with four rooms and four doors and four big hallways and four small hallways. And the house needs good plumbing to get the blood flowing to all the rooms. Bridget's heart is not working properly. So it's true what Fitzy said. Bridget's gonna have a transplant. But where? Where's she gonna get her new heart? It'll come from somewhere. My wolf wolf shadow. Cheering Bridget up after school is Sparky's favorite part of the day. Hey, Bridget. Aww. Hi, Sparky. He's exactly like me, from his snout down to his paws. Except instead of fingers, he has claws. Yes, Sparky is black, tan, and white with a red collar. And he lives in a gray and white house with red trim. And sometimes, he's taken back to the barrens to hear the grouse whir. And he often trots regally around a harbor city that is gray with fog or white with snow. And all you can see from where he lives are the red beacons that warn the ships of perils in the harbor. I feel so sick. I can't walk. Sparky, thank you. Thank you. My forever shadow follows everywhere with me. Across the park, across the pond. Okay, let's crack this chest. Across the roaring sea. Tractors, please. You are aware, of course, of the medications from You're your also brain. aware of the moon face that the prednisone will bring. You still with me, buddy? 
So Sparky hates to be left alone in his kingdom. He'll nap. And he'll snooze. And he'll even sleep for a few hours on his carbuncle. Cross his leg elegantly. But then, one bleary eye will wake up. And no one's home. No minions. No one to give him a scratch behind the ears. No Bridget to snooze against. And so he'll pad downstairs and look at his bowl and eat some beans and lap up some water and think. Water in, water out. What are you looking at? Then he'll find a nice piece of carpet and have a little pee. And no, they won't like that very much. Bad dog, get out, out! Serves him right. And sometimes there's even more naughtiness. Sparky! For instance, garbage night. But after the admonitions and the banishment, Sparky knows he'll be let back in if he claws enough paint off the red door and does his harrowing, blood-curdling woo-woo bark. Sparky. Hi. Good night, Chief. Yes, he'll be let in. And he'll clamber upstairs and waggle his tail Up. and jump into bed with Bridget and snooze the night away and be called Scooby. Scooby. I know he's loved and warm. And in the morning, all will be forgiven. Sparky thinks the house he lives in and this seacoast city are an extension of himself because he has spawned from a long line of black, tan, and brown puppies who have kept watch over the city Scooby. and its people. He's half beagle, half shepherd. Look at that, Yvonne. Isn't that oh. nice? Isn't that cute? Sparky is now 15 years old, okay. which is over 100 in dog years. That means he was born a good dog century ago. And things were a lot different back then. For instance, most of St. John's had burnt down. Some allege the fire was due to a black, tan, and white puppy in a red collar dog. who knocked over a candle with his waggly tail and started Nurse. the whole blaze. Sharon, something's happening. Watch your pulse. Blood pressure is dropping. Pulse dropping 140 down 40. over 90, down to 80 over 40. It's pulseless electric activity. She's losing blood somewhere. We need blood. Hello? What? Oh, my God. I'll be right there. Because Sparky thinks the house he lives in and this seacoast city are his kingly domain, he expects people to understand and respect his iron paw rule, especially where Bridget is concerned. My forever shadow follows everywhere with me, across the floor, across the field, across the crowded street. So very, very like me, from his head down to his heels, my forever shadow knows how my heart feels. Yes, Sparky will hear her call and make the journey to her and jump into bed with Bridget and snooze the night away and be called Scooby. Scooby. She's back. And she'll know she is loved and warm. Bridget, can you tell me what day it is? 
it's it's the day of tomorrow. Hey, boo, it's it's in the morning. And many dog years later. When Sparky most needed Bridget. Is there when I need him to be? My forever shadow and me. You're a good dog, Spark. It's okay, Spark. Sleep, Sparky. Go to sleep. And with Bridget by his side, Sparky will go off to Dreamland, where a heartbeat can be heard amidst the forever shadows, the grouse whirs, and the state tartar dreams. And know that in the morning, everything will be. My forever shadow follows everywhere with me Across the floor, across the field, across the crowded street So very, very like me, from her head down to her heels My forever shadow knows how my heart feels She's there when I need her to be.